Hey everyone, welcome back to part three. And as you know from the last one, the boys lost the last hole, mm -hmm. which means that they could pick from truth or dare. They picked dare and I dared them to use each other's golf clubs. Now let's talk about how one is a right-hand player and one is a left-handed player. Mm. So this dare mm. just got really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think the girls are gonna go have one. I <laughs> think so. <laughs> All right, welcome back to part three. This is a uh, par three. It's uh, 222 yards. Uh, there's a little water to the right and some bunkers uh, along that right side. Pins kind of in the middle. And uh, like uh, Paige mentioned, we are going opposite clubs and uh, this should be fun. Wow. Wow, that was really good contact. It was solid. It was solid. Yeah. Yeah. There's also water over there. Right where you're aimed. I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. Oh, splish. She had a great shot there. Started up the middle with a nice cut and headed right at the flag stick. Yep, very nice shot. She jumped that on that a little bit, started up the middle with the draw, and right next to the cactus. That could be a prickly spot. All right, so Paige is over here next to this cactus, coming down. I do, but my hands are full. Sorry. It's all good. Oh, great catch. Did you get that? Oh, Paige just hit a great shot in there. Go in. Oh. Great shot, Chelsea hit an awesome shot right here. Got about a 40 footer. Coach and I both went in the water, so we're gonna drop one and just try to try to go for a little Dunkarooski here. That's all we got. All right, kind of bladed one. <laughs> I was like, I haven't seen you do that today. <laughs> Can I hit the opposite hand, but left-handed? Like Whatever the opposite club? You just have to use each other's clubs. Oh, Ooh. man. Ooh, that's it's a just, smart move. Yeah. It wisened up. Wow, that was pretty good. All right, he's got that for a little bogue ski. Chelsea's got like a 65 footer. I know, we could push. It's very possible. All right, you're done. <laughs> That was a mistake on our part. Now we're all even. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, the girls got us on that one. We are all square right now. We're on hole number uh, 14. It's a par five, it's 584 yards, and it looks like it's straight uphill. And it uh, looks like the fairway's pretty tight also. So a good drive here and a good layup uh, is important. Question that we're asking is, what is your biggest pet peeve on the golf course? <laughs> I gotta think about that. Probably uh, when someone isn't playing well, or they're kind of a high handicapper, when they take a bunch of time over every single shot and take it super serious, mm -hmm. um, it just kind of slows down the pace of play, and especially if we're filming with them, usually it's, uh, you know, we like to try to keep good pace of play, so pick it up, guys, and keep that pace up. It helps <laughs> everyone out here, and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. A plus. Good one. All right, so the girls got back to even with that uh, that dare opposite clubs. I didn't do so well. Uh, both made double, uh, maybe even triple. Uh, I've got a four iron. We got about 295 left, and I'm just gonna lay up and David Tom's it. Oh, he, he started this way right, but it is turning back. Um, I'm not sure what's up there. I think he might find the right side of the fairway. Coach is just trying to keep it nice and efficient with this cart path only rule, huh? Trying to hustle it up. <laughs> All right, I did the same thing as Mike, just the opposite side. I'm gonna hit a five iron here, just lay it up, get back in position, and uh, see if we can get back one up on this mat. Uh, Marco hit it to perfection again, great layup. It's gonna probably have 115 coming in. It is just so, so beautiful out here, guys. We got these nice mountains, the sun's starting to come down. Got these just cool rock formations out here. Like, check out that rock formation right there. I mean, just really awesome. Great shot. Ooh. 
think I hit where I wanted to. Yep, so perfect. <laughs> All right, we got 162, Mike and I are within a couple yards of each other, so another blankie over those two. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the seven iron nice and smoothy and a little bit of wind into us. Marco started it just right at the pin, but it is fading over. Looks like it's pretty good distance control. Could be on right there. All right, I got 160 right next to Marco. I'm just gonna hit a little chippy seven iron and swoop it on in. Oh yeah, this looks really good. Started it up the right, drawn back. Right at the flagstick, birdie upcoming. This is uh, the size of the green. Looks like the closest one to us is Marco. And then I went a little bit long. I got about 25 feet. In between clubs, um, just because I feel like there's a, a lot of wind up there. Yeah. And I usually like to hit more of a punch controlled shot, just, but I think still the wedge will be too much. So I'm just going to go with my 50 degree. Okay, let's take it close. She looked like she tried to trap draw that one. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah, well done. She's got about uh, 12, 13 feet. Okay, dodge the bullet there. Right, guys I wanted to say thank you so much for having me on the channel today unfortunately I have to jet out as I have a flight but had so much fun leaving the match even bringing in some reinforcement to help out Paige finish the round all right guys 15th hole here 299 yards so another fun another fun risk reward hole here and a couple of bunkers up there on each side I think the play here is coach is gonna lay it up and I'm gonna just take a rip at it and see if we can get one on the green All right, Paige and I are right next to each other. We're gonna do a little closest two right here and uh, see who wins the tiebreaker. All right, I have 66 yards. Um, I'm gonna hit the 64 degree wedge and uh, hopefully get it close. Took a nice divot there. This is headed right at it. This looks great. Yeah, maybe a little bit long. Are you sure it's <laughs> Uh-oh. She doesn't trust Coach's yardage. It was 60. Uh-oh. I'm a little closer. That's... Okay, I'm gonna hit a easy 54. Um, everything feeds down into the pin, so I'm gonna, especially with the greens being a little bit more firm, um, I'm gonna hit more of a lower shot and hopefully it will feed on down. She clipped that pretty good. It's definitely gonna be shorter than coaches, but she said it feeds forward, so I think she knows what it she's feeds. doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I almost hit the green from back there. Literally just ended up right in this little dry area on the left and got a pretty straightforward shot from there. Coming up. There was just a lot of trouble out here. I did not I did not see this much trouble. Paige said stuff kicks down towards the hole, but I honestly, if I would have known there was this much trouble, I don't know that I would have gone for it, but got lucky it worked out. Paige hit a pretty good shot in there. Still uh, about a 14, 15 footer left coming down the hill. So it didn't get quite the roll out. And Mikey kind of paid the price there. He uh, is either in the hole or, no, nope, he's not in the hole. Yeah, so coach, coach paid the price there. He's down here in this little dry area. Looks like he's got a pretty good line there, but not exactly what he was looking for from 60 yards. Okay, he tried to get a little cute with that, but he's gonna have a putt upcoming. All right, really good speed. Yeah. It's probably got about six feet, seven feet left. And then Paige won the five bucks. She hit it on the green right here. So, boys are down five. Wow. That's a bullet. <laughs> oh, disappointing. 
All right, so this is an absolute epic hole right here. It's playing 244 yards, but as you guys can see, we're going severely downhill. We got a couple bunkers, one on the left and one a little bit short, but a pretty good size green down there. And uh, this looks like just a fun, fun part three. Coach hit an absolute bullet here. Had it right at it pretty much, maybe a little bit right of it. Tough to see from back here, but that looked that, that looked like money. Oh, Marco hit it right at the pin also. Looks great. Yeah, go in. I think he landed on the front, feeding towards the pin. Well done. <laughs> All right, Daniel, the editor, is gonna take a shot here. Daniel, welcome to the channel. Daniel teed up a little bit forward. <laughs> so we can get this. I mean, if you hit it good, this is like YouTube glory. If you hit it bad, it goes in the outtakes. Yeah. He's got a pretty good swing right there. Yeah. He hasn't warmed up. He's been carrying a camera all day. <laughs> Straight out of the cart. All right, let's see it. Ooh, he hit this one pretty good. Little stinger fade. Started up the left side, fading towards the pin. Yeah, yeah good pretty good. Shot, Not bad. Page started it right of the pin. Wind's kind of got it. It's pushing it to the right just a little bit. But if he get it, gets a nice bounce off that hill, it could feed to the green. All right, Marco uh, ended up a little shy of the green right here. He's got a little downhill chip towards that pin. Greens are a little firm, so you just got to land it and get it on. All right, caught that a little heavy. He's got about 15 feet left. All right, Paige pushed hers a little bit to the right. She's got a little downhill chip like Marco. Yeah, really good touch right there. Gave herself a little two-footer gimme. Good shot. Bingo. Birdie on a super tough par three. Well done, coach. Thank that was you. awesome. Good birdie. I don't even know what to say. I got nothing left. Say truth or dare, Paige. <laughs> <laughs> truth or dare. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Let me go with truth. What was the worst experience you've ever had doing modeling or any kind of collaborations or anything like that? Okay, so I have kind of two. So the first one was more of just a funny experience. So I did this Japanese calendar shoot and um, there's just a big culture difference and so like they were like having me do all the stuff like um trying to act natural but like eating like an, an apple but like take a picture and so you're like like this and it was just really funny because I think there was like a language barrier as well because their English wasn't great and so they would say certain things and I I didn't really know like what they were asking for and then I would do something and I think they were confused on what I was doing and I thought I was doing what they wanted and that's not what they wanted at all <laughs> so it was a lot it was pretty funny um I ended up turning out great but it was it was three days of am I doing this right like what's going on and then the other one was my very first kind of big shoot that I did. Um, I never wanted to, people always kind of molded me into the image that I'm perceived as, which is I guess more of like the sexy golfer. And I didn't really want to push that, and especially in the very beginning. And so when I showed up to my very first shoot, it was, <laughs> they wanted me to be in like, like lingerie and swimsuits on the golf course, which did not make any sense. And so I show up and there was like golf clothes, swimsuits, like that was the selection. And I was like, I don't wanna do this. And it was the first time that I had to like really use my voice and be like, hey, this isn't the direction that I wanna go in. So it was a great learning experience, but I showed up and I was not expecting that <laughs> and, and I think people expect that and think that I like that's what I want to do and I never wanted to shoot in a swimsuit I never want to do any of that until I had a reason to do it and so the first time I've actually ever posted or um, done any kind of shoots like that was Sports Illustrated sports illustrated swimsuit and so I felt like that was kind of what I was waiting for and what I wanted to do um, but it's I think it's funny how people perceive me to be and like that's the image that they were pushing and they also like had me put like teas in my mouth was throwing water on me and I was like I'm not ready for this like I don't know what I'm doing and because I'm actually pretty shy and introverted too but it was a 
It was definitely interesting, but I'm glad that was my first experience and I was brave enough to like say, no, I'm not comfortable doing this. And I think that's always really important for anyone if they're uncomfortable in a situation, just to be like, hey, I don't want to do this. And they're usually really great to accommodate you. So those were my two shoot experiences. These holes are not getting any easier. 495 yard par four. And there just happens to be a little ravine that runs through there. But I think from back here, we are going to be safe. So bunker up there on the right hand side, it looks pretty big. We're going to try to avoid that and just pump one down the middle and probably still have over 200 going in. pretty good down here on the left hand side still got 194 left I'm gonna just hit a five iron aim for the middle of the screen if it fades over it should be close if you want some of the merch some of the hats we got floppy hats in uh, check the link down below golfholics.com all that stuff's there and we're also doing a giveaway in this video link is down there make sure you get entered all right Marco pulled that just a little bit right of the pin but it's fading over a tiny bit should be uh, yeah Right front part of the green right there. All right, got 195. Just gonna hit a little chippy five iron and swoop it on in. <laughs> oh, he had a great shot here. He said he was gonna swoop it, but he's actually cutting it right in the middle of the green. Looks pretty good. Paige pushed her drive into the rough here a little bit. Looks like she's got a wood in her hand. What are we thinking? So I have 200 yards in, <laughs> which is great for a par four. Um, but I'm just gonna hit a hybrid and uh, I'm gonna go right at it because I really have no other option. So, here we go. Yeah. Oh, that was a great swing. She started up the left side of the green with a nice cut, headed towards the flag stick. And I think this is gonna be pretty good. Oh yeah, so I have a YouTube channel and I have been posting um, quite frequently now, which I'm very proud of. But you can go check it out. Um, okay, link will be down below and uh, you can go find me there. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so Paige hit a really good shot in here. She was pin high and uh, just got caught up in this rough a little bit, so it didn't roll down. Mike and I both ended up a little bit short, a little bit of wind to the face that we did not feel from up there. And you guys can see where we're at. And I think we're both gonna, I'm gonna pump mine. I think he might be chipping his. Let's see well, how close we can get it. Oh, that was an excellent line and pretty good speed. It's got about a three or four footer left. All right, pretty good. A really good touch. Oh, great effort right there. Easy par. Man, Paige is over here single-handedly beating us. Oh. Truth or dare, boys? Oh. What do you want to do? Let's do a dare. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'll have to think on that one. <laughs> All right, let's do that. All right, so we're going to do a dare on this one. I am going to say you guys have to play alternate shot. Mm. 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 All right, done deal. Big Cat's going to drive one. I'm going to wedge her to death. We're going to take her down. Wedge me to death. It says it on his wedge. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, the tea cactus. Um, everyone who misses the fairway has to put a tea in the cactus. That is not a true story. I just made that up right now. But it sounds great, so we're going to go with that. <laughs> now, one day, it just always notice it, and it's pretty cool. You'll also, yeah, you'll also notice too in the other cacti, there's like ball marks as well, um, or balls stuck in to it. So, uh, pretty interesting stuff around here. All right, we're on hole number 18. The match is all square. It's a short par four, 395 yards. There's water all along the left hand side you don't want to miss on. And uh, it's a pretty tight fairway, so I think we're going to lay up with either a three wood or possibly a rescue right here. And it's going to be an alternate shot for me and Marco. <laughs> I 
know we keep saying it guys, but it is absolutely beautiful out here. If you're ever in this area, Scottsdale, Arizona, you gotta come out here and check out True North. I mean, it's a beautiful golf course. <laughs> the conditions have been phenomenal. The greens are nice. I just out drove Paige Sporanic for the first time of the day. Also, <laughs> I, <laughs> people think that we live the high life on um, YouTube and making a lot of money. I get all my golf balls from finding them in the desert. So this is the initials RW. So hopefully RW is with me on this shot. 36 <laughs> yards. Uh, you definitely don't want to be short here because it's a big, big, big false front. Um, so I'm just going to try to fly it to the pin. Hopefully it spins a little bit. She had a nice shot there. Tugged it a tiny bit, but it looks Looks like it's a tiny bit long, but she's gone on the dance floor. She's gonna be putting. See if we can roll one in. It's a good thing we play the same golf ball. Makes it easy. <laughs> and I love those uh, Callaway Chrome Softs. They're the best balls on the market. Um, I got 72 yards. Just gonna hit my uh, 64 degree wedge and uh, put some spin on it. Took a massive divot there, but this looks pretty good. A little bit right of it. Good distance control. A little bit deep, a little bit deep actually. They're both a little bit deep, but I think Coach he got her. No, but we got a chance. Swing right there. I probably should have just knocked down a little chippy 60, but I don't know. I'm just loving the 64 right now, so got to go with it. All right, so I hit one a little bit long. Uh, Marco's got about a 25 footer left, and then Paige, she's right next to us, and she's got about a 25 footer. So uh, whoever makes this is going to win it. Oh my god! Oh, what a match that was! That was so good. Oh, that was so awesome. Fun. What a putt! Oh my goodness! <laughs> nice job, partner. Thank you. Well, that was a great match with us. I can't believe that. Was. <laughs> Have ended any better than that? <laughs> that was. That was epic. And for those of you that at home, Paige can play some serious golf right now. Yep. I don't know what she shot, but I think like 71, you know, 70. Uh, great round out of, out of her and uh, Chelsea. Big thanks for them uh, for having us. Yeah, it was an awesome time. Thank you so much for just agreeing to do a collaboration with us. <laughs> I mean, we've been wanting to get together with you and do this, so appreciate it. You're a superstar. You're awesome. She's Paige is a great person, guys. Played some fantastic golf all day, her and Chelsea, like Mike said, and uh, it was just an awesome, awesome time out here. Well, thanks so much for playing with me today and also yeah. having me on your golf vlog. I've been a big fan for a long time and I know a lot of your followers have been requesting this so I know they're going to be extremely happy that you made that last <laughs> putt and beat me one up but I would love to be on again so I can get this this redemption that yeah. I need because I am crushed right now that you just made that putt on me. A rematch is in order. A rematch so. for sure but uh, thanks again and I hope you guys had a awesome time watching this don't forget to like leave a comment on your favorite part of this entire vlog and subscribe and you can check me out on my youtube as well so um thanks for watching yeah <laughs> with this line how near those courses out here i'm gonna play smart david toms it just like coach with the five ski <laughs> <laughs> How's that little spiel yeah that was great <laughs> How about those freshy shoes he's got on too? Love it. He's up at <laughs> We're down one, so we moved up a two yeah. box. Is that what happened? Maybe. <laughs> you were like 55 yards would, in front of us. No, well, that, that's that's a really. Which tee markers you guys going to? They, they they decide after we hit. It's like how good was this? Oh yeah, that's right. You guys keep mixing it up. <laughs> Did you say 64 ski? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. I'm from originally from Philadelphia, um, but I grew up in Sarasota Bridge. That <laughs> <laughs> almost just went Don't down. Fall. Oh my gosh! Almost went in the bunker. <laughs> so. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> they were like pros. <laughs> Daniel, outtakes, buddy. Right there. <laughs> get that on camera? Don't get that on camera.
that on film. I didn't get it, don't worry. <laughs> this is great. Have you ever just completely fallen? No, I, well, you saw oh, my son. No, I'm like a cat. I'd never go down, though. No. You no. say that now. I know, no. watch. I mean, I've never fallen in my life, so now never. it's going to happen. Never. Yeah, I never tripped oh, I and fell. Oh, no. yeah, that's like, they call me Chels Probs, because like, when I was younger, I could do like six back handsprings and a back tuck, like fine. Then I'd be walking and trip over my shoe. Yeah. It's like, such a klutz. Okay. Okay. So, truth or dare? We're going <laughs> to... We're gonna do it. <laughs> One more time. Okay, right. good. Yeah, go for it. Oh, sorry. Wait, no, sorry. That was great. That was great. I was like, yeah.